Hey everyone, H of Masses here, today doing a LEGO Star Wars buildable figure review. This is Rey from The Last Jedi. This set comes with 85 pieces and the item number is 75528. On the front of the box you can just see Rey, and on the back of the box you can see an alternate pose as well as all the functions and a few facts about the set. Being a more human-like figure, Rey is bound to be more controversial, however I think they actually did a very good job designing the set and trying to get it as accurate as they could using these types of pieces. For example, right off the bat we see a bunch of new recolors. These five size pieces are recolored in light grey along with the four size light grey piece and four size brown piece. And the five size ones actually have printing on it to show the exposed shoulders and in addition they recolored the the joint used to actually attach that part of the arm into the flesh tone to even further show the exposed shoulders fully going around the armor as well as the front and back. Her torso has a lot of nice detailing and a lot of really nice printing on there. You can see her robes extending all the way down and you can see her belt across her chest and it also uses the more feminine style one to have a little bit more accuracy. She also has this cloth piece to have even more accuracy and it goes pretty well you can see how it kind of blends in with her printing. However, I would have rather had it just printed instead of them using the physical cloth piece because I don't think the cloth piece really looks all that good. It just feels like it's too wide out and extends her pelvis way too much and it just doesn't even look good to me. They tried to get in a lot of the details. You can see how they have on the one side a hole which is accurate to the actual movie design versus the other side which is just kind of split. And you can just see how they really tried to get the details but it just doesn't look good to me. And the color doesn't really max the print on the torso. On the lower half of her legs she has new brown recolored Star Wars construction sort of CCBS shin pieces which look good and she has the black boots which also look good. Moving towards the back you can see even more covering up which looks really good and the only issue that I really have here is that I would have rather had them recolored those pieces on the back to be brown just to sort of extend the belt area. However, I think it looks fine in this gray color as it is. It just is a little bit of a suggestion to have a little bit more accuracy. However, another thing that you can see on the back here is the gear function. Now the gear function, just like all the other gear functions, works very well. All you have to do is spin the gear and the arm moves up and down like so. And it looks good, it works very well, it's very easy to turn. And because it has friction adders, you can actually easily pose her arm. You can have it fully extended out like this, and it will not fall down no matter how you do it. So if you want it up here, it's not going to fall down. You want it more like this, it won't fall down, which is a very nice thing and a very nice design. However, something I want to note is that her entire neck section looks very awkward because of the piece they use. It works well with characters who have capes, but because Ray doesn't have a cape, it's very open around her neck and it looks very weird, especially when you look at it front on at a level angle. You can see the holes there and the gaps and it just looks very awkward. Ray also comes with a blaster which looks very nice and very accurate. However, my only complaint with this is that there's no place for you to store it, so it always has to be in her hand. And that can be a little bit annoying if you want to have different poses, like double-handed holding her lightsaber. It's just a little bit of annoying, but it's not too big of a deal. Ray's face will probably be the most controversial part of this entire set. And in this case, I actually think the face looks pretty good. It's not great, but I think it's better than the other ones that we've gotten. The hair especially. There's a lot of nice detailing in the back for the hair, which just came out really, really well, which I'm very happy with. And the face part looks okay. It's obviously not great, but it's not that bad. Now at the end of the day, I think that this set is actually very well designed, and I think it has a lot of nice playability. But the set just looks weird to me, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the CCBS system just doesn't work very well for a human aesthetic. Because the it's just, it looks fine, you know, from the ground up until the arms. The legs look fine, the shaping works well, and that's has a lot to do with the fact that they've been making these specific parts to work very well with that type of thing. However, those parts don't always work well. The arms just don't look good, the parts just aren't the right parts. And that doesn't mean to use the parts on the legs. I've seen that Chewbacca figure. Those, that's not what I'm looking for here. It's just the, they just the shaping just doesn't work here. 
it's just, it's something that they haven't quite figured out yet, and I honestly can't give them too much suggestions without telling them to make like a brand new part of the fit and human aesthetic, because how it is right now, the design of the figure is good. You can tell they put a lot of effort, especially in the arms, to really make it look accurate. You can tell they tried here. But the problem is, is that just the parts don't work here because the human aesthetic just doesn't work with these types of shapes. And they're getting there, but they're not quite there yet. However, the set still is very good in terms of playability and design. I think you get a lot of actual value here because you have the lightsaber as well as the gun and you have the gear function which works very well. And the, pig, the figure overall, you know, it's still good. It's got a lot of nice posability and stuff, but the accuracy isn't quite where I want it to be quite yet. But that is pretty much it for my review of Ray. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.